I can deny him I will be with him wherever he goes Such a beautiful tune. Welcome to the channel. This is another guitar tutorial for the tune Do You Love an Apple? Um, played by the legendary Bothy Band. Now, in this tune, they use a harpsichord and a guitar. So what I've created here in the tablature, as well as what I'm going to play for you, is a combination of both the harpsichord part and the guitar part. Now, the way I look at it, there's three different treatments of each verse. There's verse one, which I just played, which is the most simple. Then there's the second part, which adds the bass note so forth. And then the third one, which then goes into this E minor. With this kind of uh, interesting bass movement. The first verse I'll take you through, which is kind of a, per it's a really nice beginner piece because it's a little, tiny bit challenging, but the shapes that you're using are very simple and you're getting your two fingers involved as well as your thumb. So the intro goes like this. I'm on second string, third fret, and fourth string, sorry, second string, third fret, and third string, fourth fret. This shape right here. And my thumb is going to drone the D string. The intro sounds like this. Then I move up to the fifth fret on both the second and third string. Go back to the third and fourth. Then first and second. Then you do that again. The way you count this, one, two, three, 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 one, two. So that thumb is happening on the second beat of my three beat phrase. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. A pretty good place to start. Now when the singing starts, I do the same pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do you love an apple? Do you love a pear? Do you love, now hear it change, it changes. Laddie, we're just doing the melody. Do you love a laddie? Going from this C chord. C interval, more like it. Do you love a Pinky and third finger there. Bum, bum. Do you love a laddie with curly brown hair? You stick around on this, this B and this D, this kind of G chord interval, even though we're not hearing a, a root here. It's totally a G chord. Do you love a laddie with curly brown hair? Going down to that first fret, second string. Second fret, third string, and then chorus. Oh yes, just open. I got nothing happening here. Oh yes, I love him. I can deny. Now here's a little finger style moment. Oh yes, I love him. I can deny. So I've got my first finger on this E note, playing the rest of this C chord. Oh yes, I. melody. I will be with him wherever he goes. I do have a tablature written out for all of this, um, which will make it totally simple to follow along. Just follow the links in the description below. And if you like this tune or like other tunes by the Bothy Band, um, let me know which ones you want and I can do tutorials on them. I chose this one because I think it's a great kind of step into the world of fingerstyle guitar, um, but with this Irish style uh, of music. Now that was the first version of the verse chorus. The second version of the verse goes like this. 
So, again, this is all written in a tablature. G, G note, but my, my chord is really just based off this low note. One, two, three, one, two, three, and I've changed the placement of my thumb in time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm blazing through this and I'll play it one more time slowly um, and then I'll go to the third part which hits this beautiful E minor moment okay so second version goes like this D shape that I'm playing there is just the lower three strings with my pinky, third finger, and second finger. Five, four, two. This is a D. But what that does when you do, um, when you kind of move your C shape up the neck, um, you have a lot more control over the kind of jangliness of that chord. Whereas, I mean, on, on this guitar in particular, it sounds, all of it sounds good, but I can really create it to be really, really soft when I form my D like this versus, I guess that's pretty soft too. But there's a certain um, gentleness when I form my D like this with this song in particular. So that's the second version of the verse and the chorus. The third version of the verse and the chorus starts the same. Do you da 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 Let's take that piece by piece. This is the third version of it. The verse is very similar to what's already been happening. Um, one, two, three, 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 and here, this is why this song is so nice because there's a tendency as a beginner guitar player to see E minor and think that you have to do this big E minor chord, right? And while that does work, the beauty and the um, simplicity of this song means that you don't have to play all the notes of a chord in order for the tonality and the feeling to be expressed to the listener and even felt by the performer. So in this case, we're not playing all six strings to get this E minor shape. We're only playing the fourth, third, and second strings, which sounds like this. And within the context of this tune, it's a very, very gentle, very beautiful moment where we're doing technically is what's called a deceptive cadence. We're going from one to six, or sorry, one to five. Get ahead of myself. Two, six. Back to one. Right, so going one, five, seven, then 
this E minor, which is really, really beautiful and emotive. Let me take that section again. <clears throat> uh, third version, right here. Two, three, one, 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 two, three, E minor. And now we're doing a G over a D chord. Even though we're not here, we're not even playing a root, it's still a G chord. We have a D, B, and a D coming from that E minor. So we're going bum, 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 bum. It's this really beautiful bass movement. Again, from that E minor. Um, let's go from the end of that verse. Dun, 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 dun. Five chord. Oh, yes, I love him. I can deny him. I will be with him where Right? So here, we're doing that deceptive cadence. And the way I've written out the tab, it's very finger heavy. You can hybrid pick it. We would just use these two fingers and the pick in your right hand. These two fingers, your second and third finger on your right hand. Um, uh, or rhythm hand, if you're a lefty. And a pick in between your index finger and your thumb. Both of them will suffice. Um, I will say also that if you just want to do straight up cowboy chords, that's all written here as well. Do you love an apple? Do you love a pear? Do you love a laddie with curly brown hair? Oh yes, I love him. I can deny him. I will be with him wherever he goes. You just have to memorize that phrase. So we have three versions of the verse um, and one version of it with uh, just straight up cowboy chords, which is all written in the tab. And even that third verse, which has that E minor. Do you love an apple? Do you love a pear? Do you love a laddie with curly brown hair? Oh, still. All in all, that should suffice to get you from downbeat to final beat with this tune. I might have gotten the lyrics incorrect here and there, but that's not what this <laughs> lesson is about. This lesson is about the guitar part. And it's simplicity of right hand or rhythm hand technique. And then you can get as um, technical as in, and as advanced as you want. This is just kind of a, uh, a step into what it would mean to be playing this tune as a fingerstyle guitar song. And remember, this is harpsichord and guitar played at the same time and uh, singing over it too. Again, there's a tablature, and if you like this stuff, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you got this far, I've done Paul Brady stuff, I've done Dick Hawkins stuff, I've done John Fahey stuff, I've done a lot of banjo stuff. Um, please subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to see the brand new tunes that are um, on this channel. Um, for returning visitors, I sincerely thank you for coming and, and listening again. Um, if you got any questions about any of this stuff, let me know and or requests. I would love that too. All right. I'll see you next time. Do you love an apple? Do you love a pear? Do you love a laddie with curly brown hair? Oh yes, I love him. I can't deny him